we have a new free mid journey alternative in the market that can create crazy images just like mid journey and not only that it can also help you transform your images to any other style you want so i'm talking about alpaca ml which is a new image generator in the market that is competing with mid journey head to head so in this video, we're going to go ahead and explore all the features of Alpaca ML, which are text to image generation, image to image generation, and canvas painting. All right, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so here we are in the home page of Alpaca ML, and straight away, you can see we have a very simple intuitive interface. So it says home generative tools and models, right? So you can see I'm using the free trial. So Alpaca ML is basically offering you a free version, like free trial version right now, so you can access that and use that without paying any money right so yeah in generative tools oh, we have the option of chroma so you simply go ahead and open this so yeah, you can see we have now a canvas right so over here you can start drawing image and it will basically generate that image for you over here right so let's just say we have some input examples so i take this drawing of a man right here and then we have few presets over here right so just to say if you want to select pro control creative valve so these four presets basically offers you four different results like i'm going to show you in a moment so if i select pro for this kind of a model and i click on create so this will give you basically this result and now if i select control and hit generate again then it will give you some results like that and if you go ahead and select creative so creative will basically entirely change your image right so now uh, this image is a lot more different than a reference image and the wild one wild one is basically going to enhance and change your image entirely to a new looking image right which is this which looks absolutely perfect so the preset basically if you are doing image to image if you're doing like some canvas painting so the pro version will go ahead and generate image very close to your reference one and similarly the wild one will provide you a new image with very much reference to the previous one okay so now uh, we also have the option of inputting your prompt over here. So the features of Alpaca ML are you can do text to image generation, image to image generation, and you can do canvas painting generation as well, all right? All right, so first of all, let's just go ahead and see text to image generation because Alpaca ML is really, really good in text to image generation, like is as good as Mid Journey, right? So yeah, as this is the competitor of Mid Journey, so we're gonna use the same prompt formula as we used to use uh, in Mid Journey, which was photography type, subject action, short type, location, fashion, year, film stock, camera, director, and all those important details. So for that, we're gonna go ahead and create tons of images with that, which will include human portraits, realistic images, landscapes, photography types, animes, cartoon characters, 3D renders, fantasy images, and all those examples. So first of all, let's just go ahead and create human portraits in that and see how it will turn out. And we're going to go ahead and quickly compare those with Mid Journey 2, all right? All right, so I type in my prompt, a portrait of a jazz musician lost in his music during a live performance. He's wearing a classic suit and hat, uh, the year is 2024, and all those important details. And let's just go ahead and select presets. First of all, if I go ahead and select Pro 1, hit enter and see what our output is going to be. Okay, so for the Pro 1, wow, this looks absolutely perfect. So we have the Pro preset and for that, this image looks really, really good. So if you want to save this, you can right click, save image and quickly save it in your PC. Okay, then if you go ahead and select the control preset with the same prompt and click generate, so this will be the result. All right, this looks really, really good as well. And one more cool thing about Alpaca ML is like it's really, really fast as compared to other AI tools, uh, which is really good deal, right? And then if you select creative, all right, so this will be our results, which look really, really fantastic. And here is the wild version of the image, you guys, so which looks really, really good. So if you ask me, I think with human portraits, the pro preset works absolutely fine Hello, for AI enthusiasts. Alpaca, right? So yeah, uh, this image looks absolutely Skinco. perfect. So if you go ahead and quickly compare that uh, with Mid Journey 1, so I type in my same prompt and this uh, was the result. So yeah, on the left side, we have the image of Alpaca ML and on the right side, we have uh, the image of Mid Journey, right? So yeah, uh, both of the results are absolutely fantastic. So yeah, no doubt, despite this tool of being free set, so basically provides you absolutely fantastic results, very, very close to Mid Journey, right? All right, so let's, let's just go ahead and take one more example of human portrait. And this time, I'm gonna go ahead and type a portrait 
of a child covered in mud after a day of play. He's burying his play clothes and all those important details. And for the preset, uh, of course, we're gonna go ahead and select Pro. Let's just generate and see our output. And we're also gonna go ahead and compare that with the Mid Journey one too, right? Wow, so take a look at the speed of this AI tool. It's insane. And the Mid Journey result, uh, like it's still undergoing, but yeah, wow, this looks absolutely perfect. And if you go ahead and compare that with the Mid Journey output, so yeah, no doubt Alpaca ammo did a fantastic job. Obviously, the Mid Journey ones looks good because of the lighting and all that, but yeah, Alpaca ammo. It looks absolutely fantastic, right? All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead and see how it will perform with realistic images. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt, the image, an image of a busy kitchen in a high-end restaurant during diner service, the US-24 and all those important details. And we're also gonna go ahead and check which preset will suit the best for a realistic image, okay? So first of all, let's just create that with Pro. And then we're going to find out which preset will work absolutely perfect, right? Okay, so the pro one, obviously, it doesn't look that good because we have some deformation in the faces. If we check out the control one. All right, so now this one is a bit better. And if we go ahead and check out the creative one. All right, wow, this is really good. Like much, much better than the last two versions. And lastly, if you check the wild one, so I think this will work good for the realistic images. All right, I think not so good. The creative one was pretty handsome for our prompt, okay? So if I can go ahead and quickly compare that with the mid-journey one. Yeah, of course, the mid-journey output were absolutely fantastic, no doubt on that. But you know, Alpaca ML, it also didn't do like that bad of a job. But I think, yeah, uh, in realistic images, mid-journey outperformed uh, the alpaca ammo. All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead and check out how it will perform with landscapes. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and type in the prompt that a landscape shot of a winding river cutting through a lush green valley and all those important details. And we're gonna check out with Pro and Val to see which one performs the best. All right, wow, so this looks absolutely beautiful, right? So we have a landscape shot of a winding river cutting through a lush green valley, so the Pro Wow, it definitely took the lead. And if you check out the WoW version of this, so yeah, this looks really, really fantastic as well, but it's not like very close to the reality. It looks kind of a like cartoonish, a bit fake, right? So if we check out uh, the creative one too, all right, okay, so the creative ones looks really, really good. And if you check out lastly, the control version of this, okay, wow, yeah. So yeah, the control version, that's it. This is the perfect landscape that you can get out of Alpaca ML. And if we go ahead and quickly compare that with uh, the mid-journey one. So yeah, uh, obviously mid-journey is a bit better with the detail and the lighting, but no doubt, uh, Alpaca Amol really, really tried its best to compete with mid-journey. And yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, so next, we're gonna go ahead and check out how it will perform with 3D renders because yeah, Alpaca Amol did really fantastic job with 3D renders. So yeah, for the 3D render, I'm gonna say a 3D render of a detailed and realistic model of a human heart. There is 2024 and all those important details. Let's just check out with the Pro preset first of all and see how it looks. All right, wow, so this looks really, really good. So it's definitely 3D and looks, looks absolutely fantastic. And if you check out the WoW version of this, all right, okay, so yeah, it, this is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, the WoW version, all right, so this really, really looked 3D and I'm amazed with the result, like the 3D render of Alpaca, right? So yeah, it is absolutely perfect. And if you quickly compare that with the mid-journey output or mid-journey 3D render. All right, yeah, so mid the mid-journey one also did uh, a pretty good job, but I must say the Alpaca ammo, that 3D render looks absolutely perfect, like hands down. All right, so next, let's just go ahead and see how uh, it will perform and whether it can, it can compare it with Fantasy images uh, with mid-journey. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt an image of a majestic dragon soaring over a medieval castle. So that is definitely fantasy. There is 2024 and all those important details. Let's just create this and yeah, compare the results with mid-journey. All right, yeah. So you guys can see on the left, we have the image of Alpaca ML. On the right, we have the mid-journey one. So yeah, definitely, I must say, uh, the Alpaca ML really outplayed in fantasy images. Yeah, it performed really, really well. Like, I would say much, much better than the mid-journey one, right? Okay, so the next one, we're gonna go ahead and jump into some, like, photography types. And first of all, we'll see how it performed with product photography. 
So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and say an image of a designer handbag placed against a minimalist background. There is one for and all those important details. Let's just quickly uh, see the output and compare that uh, with the journey, okay? All right, so if we compare both of the outputs, so I would say uh, the Alpaca ammo, it performed really, really well. Like it's really, really much better than the mid journey one. And it really looks that it is some kind of a product photography, like the designer handbag in these images right okay so next we're gonna go ahead and see how it will perform for some car photographies and for that i'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt for both of the ai tools that an image of a classic muscle car speeding down a desert highway there is 2024 and all those important details and let's just go ahead and generate this and compare that with the mid journey output all right wow so check out the results you guys clearly alpaca ammo did really good job but on the other hand the mid journey one looks a bit more clear but I must say, if you are if you are looking about uh, the photography, so Alpaca ML is absolutely perfect. It did really well compared to Mid Journey. Okay, so next, let's just go ahead and uh, find out how we perform with anime characters. And for that, I'm gonna type in a prompt: a colorful illustration of a magical girl character with her cute pet sidekick, and all those important details. Let's just quickly generate this and see a result. All right, so wow, both of the images look really, really good. If you want to go ahead and see the prompts, it was a colorful illustration of a magical goal, right? So yeah, for that, uh, Mid Journey is very, very accurate and it provided good results. But on the other hand, the Alpaca AML, it also did a really fantastic job in creating our anime, right? All right, so now, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and test out how it will do with the cartoon characters. And for that... I'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt a vibrant illustration of a superhero character flying over a bustling city. And let's just generate this and compare our outputs, okay? All right, so both of the results are really, really interesting. So the mid journey uh, works very, very good with the accuracy of the prompt. But on the other hand, the Alpaca ML, if you're looking for just images with the realistic style and all that. So yeah, Alpaca ML could be a really, really good tool for you as well, right? So there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of text to image generation in Alpaca ML. So now we're going to go ahead and see image to image generation in Alpaca ML. So for that, you need to go ahead and click on this option, upload image. So this will basically allow you to upload any image and transform that to any other style or, or whatever you want. Okay, so let's just say I go ahead and input this image of myself, okay? And now uh, you just need to provide description like how you want your image to be changed. And let's just say I provide in a very simple thing. I say anime character, okay? So I want to change that into anime character. Just need to provide like what exactly you're looking for. And let's just click generate and see how it will change by this image to other style. And the preset option over here holds a great significance I'm gonna show you in a moment. All right, so take a look at this. So it has beautifully changed my image to anime character. And we have few more option settings over here. So we have prompt influence and detail. So the detail option right over here basically allows you to restore uh, the detail of the image of whatever you want, okay? So for creating perfect animes, I'm gonna go ahead and lessen this to 60, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and create again and now take a look at the results. All right, wow. So now that looks absolutely perfect. So we have an anime character of this image, which looks really, really good, okay? So now let's just go ahead and take one more example. I'm gonna delete this, upload another image of a character. Let's just go ahead and go for this one. And now let's just go ahead and create a cartoon character out of this image, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and click on generate with the same settings that I did earlier. All right. Wow. So take a look at this image, right? This looks really, really good. So yeah, uh, this is how you can do image to image generation in Alpaca ML. All right. All right. So now let's just go ahead and jump out to uh, the canvas painting feature in Alpaca ML. So this basically allows you to draw anything on this canvas right here and it will generate that to whatever you want. So you can choose between anything you can type the description of the prompt and it will change that for you okay so let's just say if i take any input examples from this so let's say i take this landscape painting right over here so this will provide you the prompt of this landscape automatically and now with the help of these tools like draw erase and background fill you can basically go ahead and draw literally anything okay so let's just say i select any color um blue 
because I'm trying to draw a sky right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a sky right over here. All right. And let's just go ahead and generate. And with the help of these preset, we can change this image to any other style we want. Okay. Okay. So yeah, take a look at this. So now we have a sky in the image, which looks really, really good. And if I check the wild version of this one, all right. So this looks really, really good as well. So let's just say if I go ahead and generate any other thing, some kind of a brown tower or something like that, which will be right over here. So yeah, I'm basically not good at drawing. So I'm just going to go ahead and see like what this tool is capable of. All right. And then I'm going to provide you some good examples of how well this tool is. Right. Okay. So if I can go ahead and create this now. So yeah, this is how it will keep on transforming our image based on the things we input in that. Okay. So yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and take some kind of rough drawings online. And I'm going to go ahead and see how this alpaca ML is going to transform that painting for me. Let's just say I take this example, I draw uh, this garbage. Isn't that hard to draw, right? And for that, I'm going to go ahead and type in the description, which will be really, really simple. So let's just say I say futuristic sports car, okay? And for the preset, uh, first of all, we're going to go ahead and select creative and see how it's going to turn out. All right. So for that, it basically provided this image which doesn't look futuristic or sports. So if I try the wild preset, so yeah, now this looks more and more promising. So yeah, basically it has changed uh, this drawing to a drawing of a futuristic sports car. All right, so another cool example, let's just say I take this rough landscape uh, and let's just say I draw it in Alpaca ML and I provide in my description or you can go ahead and leave your description like this. And if I select the wild version of this, so take a look at this image. Wow, this looks really, really good. And if I select the creative one, so yeah, this one looks absolutely perfect. Just the way we want it. So yeah, it has basically changed our, this rough painting to a very good, realistic kind of a landscape, right? So yeah, this is how you can go ahead and use canvas painting in Alpaca ML. So yeah, this was the exploration of uh, the new fantastic tool Alpaca ML. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.